Hello everyone, um, I'm going to show you a couple of quick uh, tutorials and tricks and how to create fractals in Photoshop, Illustrator, and another cool little program uh, called Apophysis. Now right here I'm in Photoshop and I took this little kitty cat picture and what I'm going to do is hit Control T to transform it and you know, adjust the size just a little bit, uh, make the cat kind of smaller and rotate it to the side a little bit and uh, make, sh make sure that this is all done within one transformation that's uh, you know you press control T and then you hit enter and then it'll uh, you know consolidate that step and then all you gotta do is press control alt T and it'll copy that same transformation every time you press it and you can do this indefinitely and just keep adding multiplying cats and they'll create this neat little fractal based on the uh, same transformation that you made relative to the new image then you can go down here and select all these layers and hit control E to merge all of them or just right click and hit merge all layers and then you can play around with this fractal right here and multiply it any way you want as well. You can apply transformations to that and basically repeat the same exact step and it'll uh, it'll create fractals of, with this shape. Now right here what I did is I have this kind of swirl looking thing and I could have taken this a couple of different ways. I could have copied it a couple of times and rotated it uh, so that it creates like this tripod or an octopus and then merge all of those layers and then create uh, more multiplications of that and just create an ever multiplying set of these little kitty cats uh, so right here you can see I'm multiplying the kitty cat fractal to make another little elephant trunk type curve and then I'm gonna merge all of these layers again just control E and basically the commands you've got to remember are control T to make a transformation meaning resize rotate scale anything and then hit enter and then hit control alt T and that will copy the same transformation that you just made so right now I'm just messing around making a mutation of our arm and you see I'm copying it over and it's making this kind of 3d plane that extends out into infinity it doesn't look great but it's just a basis to kinda of get you going and uh, right well that's that's how you do it in Photoshop now let's go over to Illustrator and open up a new file okay there we go and I'm just gonna take a star tool and put a star right in the middle or somewhere just anywhere on the page is fine let's get the star tool here or is it it's under uh, oh yeah that rectangle okay and then just create a little star and we'll fill it with red okay now what you want to do is have the star selected go up to effect and find distort and transform and choose transform now what really you want to do is start with making multiple copies so we're gonna choose 20 and hit preview so that you can see your changes and then just play around with the variables right here and it'll create uh, multiplications of a transformation just like in Photoshop but this time it does it automatically so Illustrator is good for that the only difference is you can't do it with just any image you've got to do it with a shape or something that's created in Illustrator that's a vector format so you can change the the scaling right here you know horizontal and vertical size uh, it's best to keep them the same values if you want to create just a resize type um, fractal effect 
and then play around with the distances between the transformations. And really, what you what is going to make a huge difference is uh, the next variable, which is the angle right here. The more you change that, the crazier your transformation is going to get. You know, you can get it all the way down, and you can curve it this way and that way and there's a lot of different check boxes right here that you can play with to adjust your transformation even more and uh, this is just like the Photoshop transform feature where you can copy this many times over you can have uh, this shape that you create and apply apply it into a group and then transform it more from there create multiple star tessellation patterns or you can uh, just make a lot of patterns with this same star by adding a lot a lot a lot of copies now uh, here once I get done messing with this I'm gonna whew, a lot of stars okay I skipped a little bit of the video so I can show you this you can create this kind of uh, tessellation with a huge number of objects by just increasing the transformation into a positive scaling and then you can play around with any of the points on the star actually to create even crazier weird shapes that update in real time so we've got this just weird rose flower type uh, pattern with lots of jaggedy edges and I'm gonna just really distort it a whole lot and you can add points change the color of it do basically anything you want to the shape and it'll keep updating and uh, I'm just gonna put a gradient here into this and uh, create a really, really neat effect where see how everything just changes up okay that's it that's all I'm gonna show you about in Illustrator next I'm gonna open up a program called Apophysis okay last thing I want to show you is this little program called Apophysis which is pretty much made only for making fractals it's very cool and uh, you can make some really awesome detailed uh, illustrations with it if you know what you're doing and it takes a lot to get involved but the program is absolutely free you can just get it by going by typing Apophysis 7x in Google and you can get it for Windows and I think it's available for Mac too and uh, it's just a cool little fractal program that can create various results by using math algorithms called plugins to manipulate triangles and dots in various ways uh, now I'm just going to show you a few uh, features of it you can you can really customize it. it's really a powerhouse of an application I can't believe that it's free but I'm just going to show you a little bit uh, how it works see you've got uh, these triangles here in the main editor window and on each one that you mouse over right here in the bottom right corner it's going to say what kind of plugins apply to it so right now on this one it's only polar and Gaussian blur at different numbers and then this one's got a spherical plugin and a hyperbolic plugin and the result makes what we see right here and if I were to just move this a little bit uh oh okay let me pause this and open up the other version okay so we've got uh, this triangle right here we can just kind of move it around and see in real time how we're manipulating the actual fractal so I'm moving this around the origin point which is right here in the middle of uh, this O and I'm gonna move it uh, somewhere right there and I can move this inwards to create cool weird neat effects and I can add uh, there's so many different plugins you can use it's just crazy and mind-boggling the stuff that you can do with this like I don't even know what this one is crackle let's try it let's move it a little bit up let's move it up okay it's just distorting it right now making it fuzzy 
but why don't we do a Z cone? Okay, and Gaussian blur a little bit. Just gonna move it up. Blur 3D. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, maybe move it, rotate it this way. Put this over here. Okay. Oh wow. I'm making a little galaxy right here. Okay. And I'll move this down. And let's see what we've made. Okay, well, nothing too awesome. But as you can see, you can do a lot with this program. And it really takes a lot of delving into it and just experimenting and following tutorials and learning about it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my presentation on fractals, and I hope that if you are a uh, graphics art major that you've learned something that hopefully you can use in your own uh, art. All right, see you next time.